girl. If you are new to my channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. That way you are notified every time I upload a brand new video. Now, I am the queen of inconsistency, okay? When I tell you I am the queen of inconsistency, especially when it comes to my weight loss journey. At one point, I was like going really hard in the paint. I was doing really, really good. I was feeling really, really good about my weight and all of that stuff. Then I got sick and my weight started to creep back up. But now I am back on the wagon because they don't call it a weight loss journey for nothing, okay? Because it is literally a journey and it goes like this, okay? Sometimes it might go like this and then it's going to go like this and then it might go like this and then it might go back up like this. But right now I'm kind of like this, okay? Kind of like this. It's on a it's on a steady, narrow, steady road, but it's sometimes it'll go like this and it'll, it'll go right back up. But I have lost another four pounds, okay? So I'm not losing as, as fast as I was when I was doing the green smoothie cleanse and stuff like that. And also anybody who's interested in doing that green smoothie cleanse by JJ Smith, I personally recommend it. I've done it, I've lost a gang of weight with it and you can actually keep that weight off as long as you are sticking to um, lower carb foods and staying away from the sugars and all that type of stuff after you're done with it. I rant and rave about that green smoothie cleanse and who knows, I may do it again in the future, okay? I'm, I am doing keto right now but who knows if I'm going to stick to keto for the rest of my life. I don't I don't know. But all I'm saying is if you are interested in that green smoothie cleanse, do it. Because it is thebomb.com. Of course, always do your research, all right? But, um, baby, when I tell you, I woke up this morning and for some reason, I was looking at myself in the mirror. And I was like, I got a low-key waist, okay? I got a low-key waist. I'm getting back to the girl that I was before I started back gaining that weight. And that's what has me like really, really excited. Now, I've always been on my apple cider vinegar kick, but it seems like now that I'm adding this turmeric to it, it's just, it's just like, it's really amped up now for some odd reason. I don't know why. I guess the combination of both of them is just bananas, okay? The combination of both of these is bananas. So, again, you guys remember I told you guys that I weighed myself before I went to my trip down there in Destin. I was eating all types of bad food, carbs, all type of crap, and plus I was having me a few drinks, girl. Bloop. And I came back home, I weighed myself after taking my apple cider vinegar concoction with my turmeric morning and night while I was down there, not doing anything different and was eating what I wanted to eat. I came back home and I had lost four pounds, okay? What? Okay, so ever since then, I weighed myself again this morning and I'm down another four pounds. So it's coming back off slowly but surely so. Hopefully before my birthday, July 24th, because I told you guys that I plan on being back to Wonderland by my birthday and going at this rate at this rate I can see myself being back to Wonderland by my birthday and again I, I attribute the whole way situation because that's always been one of my trouble areas is my stomach people always told me that you're not really big you just mostly stomach girl I was mostly stomach I'm mostly big okay I'm just I'm just saying okay but the apple cider vinegar will melt your belly fat period point blank exclamation point that is all I am saying now it looks like it's even more ramped up from this turmeric okay not th this is the turmeric that I use I know that the the glare is kind of kind of bright but this is the turmeric I, I use and the only reason I use this is because it has the black pepper extract in it that activates the turmeric so I do my apple cider vinegar with my turmeric and my cayenne pepper a lot of you guys ask me about my cayenne pepper this is the cayenne pepper that I use and you can't even see it so it's pointless but it's by um, Herb Farm and it's just cayenne, liquid cayenne pepper. Now, I looked for this stuff at Walmart. I could not find it. The only place that I was able to find it in my area was my local health food store. You could probably get this stuff from Amazon or if you got a local health food store in your area, you can probably get it from there. They probably even have it in the vitamin shop. I did not check the vitamin shop. I probably should check there next time because it was kind of pricey in the health food store. Um, but yeah, like I said, my waist is, I have a waist now. My only problem right now with myself are my arms. I've always had super big arms and that annoys the hell out of me. So I got to get back in the gym. I got to start lifting those weights because weights, they the key, boo. They are definitely the key. And a lot of people think that because you lift weights, you're going to bulk up. No, it ain't, it, it just, no, that, that's, that's, that's not true. I was actually, before I, you know, got sick and I started gaining that weight back, I was lifting weights. And weights will not bulk you up in no shape, form, no fashion. They will conform that body. Not only will they conform that body, they're going to, it's going to tone you up. So, 
if you're um just say you're a uh, um, overweight person and you decide that you want to work out and you just strictly want to focus on cardio in order for you to actually tone up and not have so much loose skin i mean so, depending on how much you weigh a little loose skin is going to be inevitable but if you start lifting weights you're going to tone that skin up and it's going to help you to have as little little uh, a loose skin as possible and i know that from personal experience a lot of people are like you don't have really have any loose skin because i had lost like girl i started out 289 pounds i had got down to under 200 so i had lost a lot of weight and i didn't i didn't really have any loose skin at all except for my arms like i said those are some of my that, that's my trouble area for, for girl I, I can't stand these arms i can't stand these arms lord jesus but yeah that is my update of what's going on with me i am still doing my keto um i do not track all my macros like i told you guys i've been so busy with work and this new business opportunity that i'm doing i'm about to be doing some traveling so i have not been tracking macros i could probably lose way more with keto in the conjunction with my apple cider vinegar concoctions and things like that if i were to actually track my macros and stuff like that i really don't think i'm eating enough fat i think that may be one of my problems but i am losing so that's a that's a good thing and plus i'm able to eat meat and and cheese and those types of things so that's that's a win-win situation for me personally so i'm excited about that um yeah i just wanted to come and give you guys that update i am still doing a little bit of exercise i do go to the gym occasionally i don't go to the gym every day like i should but i'm gonna have to start waking up earlier in the morning uh, my only problem is I go to bed so late at night sometimes. Sometimes I go to bed 1 and 2 o'clock in the morning. So it's really hard for me to get up, you know, 4 o'clock and go to the gym. You know, it's I have to stop making that excuse and I have to take my health more seriously. And I have to put some things on the back burner and put my health first. But I'm happy that I'm down another 4 pounds. The apple cider vinegar and the turmeric are definitely working. So get some of that in your life. Okay, get some of that in your life. That's all I'm going to say. Down another 4 pounds. Road to Wonderland. We almost there, family. Peace.